by the creaking of the chairs and the breathing in the background, we can admit that, hey, we're live. <laughs> Today, Green Brown and Publishing is bringing you a very special three-part actual play event for the Expanse RPG Beyond the Ring. Tonight, we've got an all-star cast from Abraxas Precipice and Fresh Out the Box. We've got celebrity GM Ian Lemke, and they are all here tonight to experience Beyond the Ring and to allow you to kind of see what's cooking as we go through this. If you've got questions or comments, feel free to drop um, a note in chat. We're all hanging out, ready to chat with you. Um, but without further ado, let me share these beautiful faces with you. Hello, cast. Hello. Ian, I turn it over to you, my friend. All right. Well, thank you, Troy. You sort of, I feel a little bit, uh, I think I have to uh, uh, fulfill some obligations here, uh, <laughs> being a celebrity to GM or whatever. But I, I'm the, uh, I mean, Lemke, I'm the uh, uh, developer for the Expanse role playing game. Um, and tonight is going to be a very special session of the Expanse, uh, where we explore some of, some of the aspects of Beyond the Ring. Um, this is the first part of a three-part uh, story. Uh, tonight's going to be a lot of setting up the story and that sort of thing, um, but we'll get into that soon. And so thank you all for being here. Um, with that, I would like each of our players to, if you will, introduce yourselves. John? All right. Hey, how's it going? I'm John Boltina. Uh, I am the game master for Abrax Precipice, a the Expanse uh, live play, actual play uh, we do weekly. Uh, I also teach uh, writing at the University of California Merced, where I teach a class on tabletop role playing games as well. You can find me anywhere at Only Play Wizards. Cool. Uh, Hello. Uh, I'm uh, Scott. I'm playing Neville Black. I'm a barber here in Illinois, in the middle of nowhere. I play with uh, John and Maria on a Braxis Precipice. I'm, I'm excited for this. Hey there, everybody. I'm Johanna Nunn. I'm one half of Fresh Out the Box. I am playing uh, Darius Amadi, a uh, Belter engineer from Ganymede. Uh, and you can find me at Rock Fact on Twitter. I'm just thrilled to be here. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, hello, hello. My name is Maria. Um, I also go by Happy Capster on the internet. I'm a variety streamer, artist. Um, also play on Abraxas Precipice with John and Scott. Uh, do a lot of other TTRPGs on the side as well. And uh, today I'm playing Rylan Pax. Uh, he is a Martian uh, who also is kind of like our uh, personnel person. I'm a people person. You know, we just take care of things here. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's me, Casualty, CDG. And you find me at Casualty, CDG. I'm a retired tabletop titan and improv comedian. Seriously, the stream started talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're there. Am I back? Are, Did it unexplode yet? Back in. Hello. Hello. Uh, halfway. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll get back to you in a minute then, um, and let you get have a second chance. Uh, so tonight, as I said, we're going to be using uh, some stuff from the, from Beyond the Ring. Uh, what what the story the story is all going to settle center around a colony, a, a, a new colony, um, and uh, beyond one of the ring gates. The colony itself, uh, well, the colony is centered around a, a scientific research organization called Enigma Soil Works, LLC. Um, they are trying, well, I'll let, I'll let John explain exactly what they're doing since he's playing the lead scientist when he when it gets to him. Um, they are located uh, beyond one of the thousand or so rings on a planet called Minerva, um, so named uh, there, before the arrival of the scientists, there was already a Belter colony there that was struggling. Um, survivors uh, from the war um, with the, uh, the, free, the free Navy. So they were doing very poorly. Um, this uh, scientific research group wanted uh, 
uh, wanted access to the planet uh, to do some research. Um, and, you know, they actually worked out an amicable deal, unlike things went down on, on Isla's New Terra. So everybody gets along. It's a decent sized settlement of a few hundred people in a very swampy area of the planet. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and move everything over to the players and let each of them introduce their characters in detail and what they do in the colony. Um, and then, you know, and then we'll go, you know, we'll go back into it and discuss the colony a little bit. I sort of want to get a feel for, for what their goals are and that sort of thing, because beyond the research, they may want to, you know, do a few other things. Um, and we'll work on that because that's all part of how building a colony works. So John, why don't you kick it off? Tell us about the colony. Tell us about your character. Are you interested in a future investment beyond the ring gates? Well, have I got a deal for you. I am Yaki Batenko of the Batenko family from Earth. We have done many things for the, the planet and helped them out here and there, but this new opportunity, the 1300 worlds is unreal. Leveraging my knowledge of biochemistry, I'm hoping to head on out there and figure out how to uh, engage in chiral inversion on a mass scale. That is to make all these worlds farmable. So we no longer have to rely on the substrate of Earth. I've brought a team with me out here to uh, Minerva. We're very excited to introduce them and have you grasp this awesome opportunity. Uh, take it away, Devil. I'm Neville Black. I will be uh, head of security for everything that's going on here. Uh, I'm a belter, so I kind of work for myself, but I'll listen to the big man above me. And that means John or oh. Yaki. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Darius. I am the engineer of this expedition uh i come from ganymede which is a well-known agricultural settlement over in the regular system uh but we have come through the ring to try to make a better world uh for all belters uh howdy my name is rylan pax uh i am from i'm from mars uh and i uh I, I kind of uh i'm a people person you know i make sure people get to where they need to go i make sure that people don't fight when they don't need to uh and i'm just here to make sure that you know this project that uh that dr yakiv is working on uh gets uh gets done uh and, and with as uh little paperwork and uh, bloodshed as possible i am lucy I am a computer hacker. If you need something done, communications or anything done with your computer, come to me. Blocky will take care of anything. Demand behind the scenes. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be watching. All right. So there you have it. All of our cast. Let's see what happens with them. Um, so. As I sort of explained, we have Enigma Soil Works LLC. Uh, I we built the colony actually in the last uh, in the last session. We, we built sort of a uh, sort of session zero we did, um, but I'm going to go over that a little bit and explain it to everyone. I wish I could share my screen, but I can't right now due to circumstances. But I'll sort of go over each step. Um, when you're building a colony, there's uh, you know choose what star system, planet name, and all that, if you have any allegiance. In this case, the group does not have any particular allegiance. They have investors from Earth, from the belt, from uh, and from Mars. Uh, so it's, you know, it, it, it's a very egalitarian group in that sense. Uh, you have five stats that work very much like character stats. Um, same ratings, uh, negative two to you know, six, maybe more, depending. Uh, generally somewhere between zero and, and three. In this case, uh, the first stat is economy, um, and their economy rating is one. Uh, so, you know, they've got a little access to a little bit of money, not a lot. Uh, they also have a focus of, uh, of credit networks. So they do, so that gives them a little bit, you know, if, if they're trying to raise some capital or something, that gives them a typical focus bonus. Uh, their force is zero. They really don't have much security. <laughs> they, they've got uh, yeah, they've got Neville and sometimes Loki if, if necessary. Um, 
fortunately, so far things have been fairly fairly quiet. There, you know, there's not going to, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot knocking at their door, uh, and they don't have a lot that anyone would want. This planet hasn't been known for any uh, particular type of special resources or anything like that. No big deposits of lithium, nothing like that to, you know, bring people in. Uh, another reason this planet was probably chosen uh, you know, for its safety in that sense, in this sort of it's sort of a backwater world in a sense. Next one is infrastructure too. So it's fairly well built up. Um, it, you know, two is pretty good. They don't have a focus or anything, but but it's a pretty solid community. You know, it, it uh, the Belters were there initially, so they built it up pretty good. And then and then uh, Enigma came in and you know probably added some additional security efforts and such. Next, you have media, uh, which is you know basically getting your message out. Uh, you know, if, if you need to influence the, the the people of the galaxy or what have you, media is what you use. Um, your media is one, so you know they, 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 there's obviously a little bit of buzz out there, uh, but you know it's not terribly well known or anything. Um, and final, the final one is where where all the points went: uh, science. Uh, because, well, it is a science, you know, it's a scientific research colony. Uh, their science is three, uh, and they have a focus in xenobiology, appropriately enough for what they're doing. Um, the size is settlement. Uh, there are three sizes, outpost, settlement, and province. Like, but at this point, there really wouldn't be any provinces. This story is taking place just a few years after the war with the Free Navy. Um, so, you know, there are planets that are settled, but, you know, you don't have like entire continents or anything, <laughs> multiple cities or anything like that. Um, there's resolve, uh, which is sort of your armor. When things happen to the colony, your resolve reduces the damage. Stability, oh, and, and the resolve is four. Stability, uh, which is basically your fortune. Uh, you, you know, it, it, you take damage to your stability if your stability reaches zero your colony's over. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> so those are the, basically the stats of the colony. Um, upon our, I'm just going to sort of set things up here and, and then sort of let you all, you know, bounce off of, off of this. You know, you arrived, uh, you set up your camp, um, you brought in some of the infrastructure, a few shuttles. It, you, you, you basically came in in a, in a uh, bigger ship. A uh, bigger transport ship that you know sent down some shuttles with with you know the gear and equipment and everything you needed unloaded. Um, you were left behind one shuttle uh, uh, that was part of the whole deal uh, with the company. So the company owns one shuttle. Uh, it does not have an Epstein drive, but it was there sort of as an emergency vac if you you know something terrible happened. Uh, the, uh, and also there is also a a small uh, the Belters uh, that are there. There is. But well, there's actually two rock hoppers. Uh, they do have Epstein drives. The rock hopper, yeah, they are rock hoppers with Epstein's. But um, one of them's more or less been salvaged for parts for the other. So there's one mostly functional uh, rock hopper on the planet. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else about the colony that, that any of you would like to see? You know, that, that you're thinking is particularly there, or that you're interested in? Yeah, I, I think we would have, I, I'd like to get an idea of what the local, like, well, analogous flora and fauna are like. Are there any kind of prevalent things we see? Good point. Like little critters? Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, and that was, I, I, I neglected to do that. The planet itself uh, has some information, and I think I remember it off the top of my head if I can't find it. Uh, it the the system is remarkably uh soul earth-like except for it has two suns uh it's a binary star system uh so that does make it yeah, significantly different in that sense i really wish i could find what i had oh there it is um it also has nine planets uh your planet is actually the second from the sun though mm. um it's a little bit closer than earth uh the gravity is uh is less than Earth's though, which makes, which is part of the reason that the Belters chose this world initially. Uh, it's, it's a 0.6 G instead of a full G. Um, uh, the, 
yeah, so so it, the the belter, uh, you know, if those of you among you that are belters, you probably would have had to get a, even with 0.6, you probably would have needed some treatments and such because generally speaking, you know, stations run at about 0.3 g. So, you know, to uh, to survive well to feel to be able to move around well, <laughs> you would uh, you get need some bone reinforcement and such. Um, but that was all paid for by the initial startup. So you're uh there um so you have two sons um uh, the gra the gravity is low like i said and uh as a result there are actually a lot of flyer analogs and big mm -hmm. ones that they're like uh, th th there's a number of like large uh things that almost look like uh huge kites uh that that just sort of float in the upper upper atmosphere well and not the upper atmosphere but you know high up um, can I call them kite so birds? Yeah. You can call them kite birds. They're called kite birds. Okay. <laughs> there are also a, um, a large number of, well, not a large number, but there are large, several types of large grazer analogs, you know, uh, plains animals. Um, there is something, uh, the, the most common, most prevalent one is something that looks something between a mole, a grub, and uh, and a hippopotamus, um, but it's about they, they range from hippopotamus size to two to three times hippopotamus size, um, and they they live in the swamp and they you know they just go around chewing stuff and you know you know grass and such in the swamp, uh, and but they also have the ability to sort of burrow down in, into the into the swamp itself and, and stay down there for extended periods of time. You're not sure what they do down there, but they do it it's terrifying uh, yes the the uh, the atmosphere it, it, the air you are in a swamp um in the air the first thing you noted when you got off the ship it had a very sulfurous smell um which sticks with you for a while and gets into everything however after a while you know you don't really notice it but so it doesn't really affect you but it does it sort of stings your nostrils a little bit but again, it, it's it's nothing, nothing major. Um, so there you go. There's your planet. Cool. Uh, three minutes. That's three, three minutes. minutes. Okay, good. Three minutes. We got some to spare. Cool. There doesn't seem to be anything weird about them, like like Eyeless or anything. Yeah. They, they, as far as I mean, they haven't actually been fully surveyed, but they they look normal. They're all different sizes. Know, mm. so that they, they look fairly normal um you do there is um some communications issues uh you, i mean you you can communicate out of here but you uh you actually you have a, a comm satellite that basically boosts the signal to to get communications off world uh there's something some kind of electromagnetic inter interference in the atmosphere that it, it yeah it doesn't i wouldn't say it stops them but it, it, it certainly makes communications harder so that the satellite solves that problem okay. right. so and as a settlement size this has about how many people I probably about 350 people okay that's a pretty good size okay. and we got people yeah. kind of just doing maintenance and they're keeping stuff together and greenhouse yeah. tending technicians right um, all that kind uh, of stuff yeah, we talked about this off camera, but yeah, I, I, most of the the belters sort of do their do their everyday survival stuff, you know, just make, make, you know, maintenance and 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 keeping things up and and grow and trying to grow the the infrastructure a little bit, but uh, but you have hired some of them on at, because some of them were actually you know scientists from Ganymede and such, so uh, you know you, you, you've brought them on board for various things and and for you know engineering technicians that sort of thing. Excellent. Okay. Uh, uh, do we have like permanent buildings and structures and that kind of thing going on? Uh, at this point, what's your infrastructure too? Yeah, I mean they're they're pretty solid. I mean, okay. yeah, you, you you would have brought with an infrastructure too. I'll say, yeah, you have some pretty solid buildings. Um, I mean, they're prefab, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. They aren't like you know. <laughs> nice, they're not just but... like they're not like portable buildings that are sitting on top of like you know freaking cinder blocks they're actually like maybe dug into the ground a little bit or like right well they're, they're actually uh most for the most part you well and that's one of the things you've you, oh, you are swampy, running, huh? 
Yeah, you, and and it's sort of one of the things that was not considered as much um, that the uh, that the swamp and one of the things apparently um, when the the swamps are sort of uh, have uh, seasonal tides mm. uh, where where the water gets higher at certain times of year and when the planet was uh, when the you initially visited surveyed the initial information the, the water was actually a lot lower <laughs> um, so so you're even though you you have the material to bring them up you're, you're having some issue with that that's one of the things you're going to have to deal with yeah it's kind I of a i live in houston uh, that sounds about right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about if there's a, a, a correlation or causation of the three moons with these tidal movements, and if we can like start sending data of that back to the eggheads on Earth or whoever it is, and you know wants to study that, maybe that's another source of income for us or something, or sell that data or whatever it is. So really, do really that as a project. What well, that's gonna be the next thing we're gonna talk about projects like what oh, you okay, do with cool. your colony. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, well, well that is what established them. What the colony is like to, and what your day to day is first. I would love my character. Anyone else have your thoughts for that? Uh, selling information is sort of my uh, shtick, so I would love to help your character with that. Okay. Yeah, no, we would definitely have like a, a data broker type situation where we would uh, look into the science kind of of it and such. Um, right. Yeah. In my in my mind, Loki is dropped out of the Martian military and spent a lot of time amongst Belters. He's covered in tattoos he has a black flat top some gold teeth and some gold chains uh and usually wears like a, a sleeveless white t-shirt and just uh kind of some baggy tracksuit pants and uh he's in the market of selling and uh purveying information for more and more money uh, so sometimes he doesn't open the files and sometimes he does that's that's what's gotten him into trouble in the past is the wrong information at the wrong time Honestly, it's just it's just data about the moon movements and tides, and it's pretty boring. Um, <laughs> Somebody but, uh, wants to pay for it. That's no moon. That is no moon. <laughs> um, I guess my other question too, Ian, is: Has there been any surveying for potentially uh, builder tech or the previous occupants technology? Another thing that seems to be lacking here, mm. um, which is, again, part of the reason your group may have chosen this plant, because it, it, that, that tends to attract uh, people who want to try and poke at it. Um, to date, there hasn't, I mean, the entire planet hasn't been explored or anything, so it's certainly possible there's stuff out there. Mm. Um, but you have there's nothing obvious. Like, it's actually a very Earth-like planet, um, but it, it's what 60% water, and it's got basically one giant landmass, mm. uh, sort of like you know a Gaia, uh, a Pangaea, and it, it, with sort of a, uh, a, a, a huge lake almost, but, mm. but in the center. Um, Has there been any? Uh geological surveys like uh, regarding tectonic plates and such not yet no oh. not really not i mean other than just some basic basic uh things. i had a question uh i don't know if you have an answer uh because it's a question i always hate when i'm running games sure. but hey in a binary system how does the day night work good point uh um, you don't have to if you don't have an answer it's fine i just i, I will curious. give you an answer on that at the beginning of the next session because i want to know <laughs> I'm, I'm making a note of that. that exact, I'll, I'll have exactly how that works. I'm sorry, I Ian. If you don't have the day-night cycle figured out, I don't know if I can play this game. Just uh, maybe I'll join <laughs> in next week. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Well, like I said, this, part of what this session is going to be about is um, you all deci deciding what your projects are, that sort of thing, because I, I'm going to have to sort of play off of that in between sessions and, and, mm. and build that up uh, and figure out what, what the issues are, what the problems you're having to deal with. Um, so one thing is you're trying to figure out what the day and night cycle is and you don't know yet. <laughs> so we, we've taken a lot of time on all this in regards to this whole, like getting the plant set up and stuff like that too. And we, we kind of have an idea of the, the, the situation where like what our colony is, where the history of it, how it was established and such. Um, I'd like to ask uh, part of the team, namely our security and our HR person about just kind of the ongoings with um, kind of reports and, and ideas of what like the people are like, is there any kind of cultural elements? What what do we have to eat? Like what do we eat consistently? What can we grow easily here? Like with what we brought? 
Right. Um, and then I also like to follow up with Darius about the current status of our water purification. If it's still op if it's going well, that that's that's something I was really worried about here. Didn't we can't grow anything if we don't have water. Um, and then also like the the food uh, supplies are really important to me, making sure that's consistent. Because if we're worried about that, we can't do our projects. Right. Well, I will say with given you have you do have an infrastructure of two, which you know again it's not it's not like you have anything. It's you don't have a focus in it or anything, but your your food supplies and such are pretty good. Uh, so probably a combination of the belter what the belters had established. They'd established some greenhouses with beds of dirt and such, but they frankly weren't quite making it. They didn't quite have enough material to grow what they needed. Um, they, and they were literally kind of on the verge of starving when you all came in, which is why you have an amicable agreement <laughs> with you joining them. Uh, but you, I mean, you knew what was needed. So, you know, you've brought in the extra material that was needed, extra earth, um, you know, spruced up. They already had a water purification system going, which was going well, but you brought in more filters, probably a little bit more advanced tech. Um, so, yeah, your food situation is pretty good. You, you don't you don't feel worried about it in any way, you know, and and then you, you probably got dropped with, you know, a good amount of, of just, you know, prefab meals and stuff like that to uh, to give it some time before the uh, before the to, to let let the crops get growing and such. Excellent. Excellent. Um, and you mentioned that there was a colony here beforehand. Yes. Uh, that's, that's and have we, are we adjacent to them or are we like a little bit distance from them or how? I don't know. Um, I, I tell you what, uh, Scott Neville, uh, what would, as, as head of you know, as security analysis, what, what would, what would, what would you prefer? You, you could be right with them as part, you know, basically integrated into the colony. You'd probably have your own section sort of. That's what know, I would think. But yeah, it could would be, it would. could be a satellite out from it too, if you wanted. Or, you know. I would say we've tried to integrate with them. Okay. And keep everybody on the same page. Not, you know, no conflicts of, you know, anything like that to where right. we can, work together and maybe make it a better place instead of two separate mm -hmm. colonies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, uh, I think I would be working alongside Neville to make sure that uh, both the belters who were here before, as well as everyone who came into this space, we are all working towards the same thing. So I wanted to make sure that the, uh, everything gets smoothed over as we, uh, as we have through this tumultuous time of uh, transitioning and such. Cool. Uh, so, well, actually, I was going to go to you next because Neville was saying, you know, part of it. So, uh, Rylan would probably be the one to make the final decisions on that. Like, w it, we, when you say part of it, would you want your own like neighborhood, or, or are, you, are you completely uh, integrating with the Belters? I mean, there'd be pros and cons to both. Um, which, which would you Neville prefer? would prefer to be integrated with the belters fully integrated yeah okay. i think i think but, there's a uh i think there's a little bit of a a um a honeymoon period so to speak <laughs> uh where there's no uh there's no permanent integration in effect at the very beginning while we get to to know and know each other a little bit um but that's definitely something that i think rylan along with uh with neville's uh uh preference in mind uh would start moving and making ways towards just full integration because i mean okay. work with your neighbors you get to know them a little bit better right yeah so you set up a couple buildings where you sort of stay at first but then you sort of like start putting your labs and such in amongst the the colony itself so it so it feels like it's just an organic part of it is that what i'm hearing yeah i think that's good yeah okay um well let's actually I want to make it a point though too that we have at a point um manufactured and distributed enigma soil works llc swag to the belters okay um, <laughs> that we have official shirts and the back of them says unlocking unlocking the mysteries of soil on the back okay <laughs> they're, you're, they're get yellow one of those, like those little those little like water bottles that are like yeah i'm crash, about brand yeah. Like, yeah. like, like, all, all the yeah, food, I'm, all the food packs have it, you know, stamped on. Uh, I, yes. I do have it written. In, I do have Everyone it written in my notepads. in my contract that I have final approval on all swag. Okay, that was the one thing that was a deal breaker. Um, 
It's a really funny shirt for a kid to wear while eating dirt. So, wait, what was the slogan? <laughs> the slogan again? Uh, there, unlocking the mysteries of soil. Right. Soil. Now, I have a question. Does soil literally mean soil, or does soil stand for something like S O I L? No, it's just, that... it just soil in general. So, yeah. soil is a very broad topic. Of, you know, it's just anything that has multiple nutrients. Well, Doctor Yakiv, I do need. I do need to bring this up. You do have mm. a potential here to really like get it to with the young people. If mm. you make it both, you know, you have the soil because you have the soil, but then you have soil. Which, you know, the soil for being in soil is good, but then you have soil, which could stand for, you know, I don't know, something else. We could write, we could workshop it together, you know, maybe get some, uh, yeah, some more can... interested people in on our side that what, aren't, I... you know, so like, that are more like my speed, you know, you have your science stuff and that's all good and everything. But well, one know, thing I've always noticed get it too much. is that the belters are really good about picking up little words of language here. And if I can get the kids to start saying, that's so soil. Oh man, we just said. <laughs> I think we could do that. <laughs> okay, so what the, I'm gonna... the only problem is that soil that... means that you soiled yourself. So maybe if you say that is so soil, it does not sound so great. Yeah, but well, that's what that's what you reclaim. You reclaim. You, you reclaim, reclaim language after after. That's a interesting time. too because so, we, we you know, new planet, do... new language, new meaning for some words. We are trying to engage in reclamated soil, so that does work. Okay. Reclaim the soil. <laughs> yeah, this is this, this this is good stuff. Okay, cool. All right. I'm afraid about, this, about, is our, this is our first motion. We're making the kids say soil. The, be the best thing to do when you're trying to get people interested is to give them like ownership. So like oh, yeah. reclaim your soil. You know what I mean? So hold that thought because that sounds like very much like a project. Um, <laughs> that, it's that, a that, marketing project. <laughs> well, yeah, because it, that would be increasing your media score, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Name brand recognition. Because you know, once it spreads to the belters here, it's going to spread out, you know, to people they have contact with. Because and... I'm, I don't I'm really... think reclaiming your soil sounds like you think it does. It sounds like <laughs> someone would bring you diapers. Ah, it's it's going to be good. This is going to be the next big thing. Uh, and, you know, besides, I mean, you know, we, we all, look, we've all worn a back suit. We've all gone in one. There's no shame. There is no shame. Uh, shame. I will not clean up diapers if they are to live and make that clear now. Now, our, 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 our uh, infrastructure score handles that. Uh, <laughs> what is, what does? Um, what is there? Cool, okay, so I have, I have a few projects here that I'm kind of looking at, which is one, our tectonic plate evaluation, our title issue, and then our marketing project. So those are well, and projects. of course your main project. And our main is... project, which is the one I, I am definitely the one I want to push. All these would just be ways to support the chiral inversion processors. So before we move into that, I, I actually just sort of want to just get get. I mean, we're going to get our first rolls of the evening. Um, I would actually like um, Neville to make give me a uh, etiquette test. What is um, etiquette under communication? Communication, communication, yeah. Which I believe you have it. I do. So, and that's basically for you integrating with the Belter because I mean, you very much. It was your idea. That, you know, you wanted to be integrated. So, sort of your attempt to integrate with them. And you were a Belter yourself, so you have no penalty or anything like that. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. Any any stunt points or anything? No. Yes. Two fours. Okay, uh, what's the uh, what's the stunt day? Uh, oh, it is a four. Four. So I want to see here. Right? I don't know. Do you have any thoughts of anything you do, want? Uh, I, I I do uh, under membership and reputation stunts something like losing confidence. Losing can get like a temporary reputation or membership or something. Yeah, I, I, I mean that's not. I mean, so basically, it gives you a a, a temporary. I guess no, they, they, plus plus four if you any interactions with the uh, with the belters. Is that what you're? What you're looking at? I have it pulled up. If you want me to read it out? Yeah, I can read it real quick if you want to. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So losing confidence, cost oh, four. Sorry. And what it does is it gives you basically a the equivalent of like a temporary reputation honorific or membership for the rest of the okay. session. Okay. Um, or until you fail a test with those people. 
<laughs> Until you piss them off, so yeah. I'm actually going to have it uh, go a little bit beyond the session, probably, because, just because of the nature of the way this is working. I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing with the churn. Oh, that's spe speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you spent more than four stunt points? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. You have you have your first churn as well. That's one of the things I want to get up on the screen next time, but that'll be next time. Cool. That's great when the um, first guy roll is a churn event. You know that the campaign's off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. I mean, you also got, you know... I mean, it, so clearly, I mean, you came in... You, you said you're from Ganymede, right? Me, is that, yeah. Were you the one from Ganymede? No, who, who was from Ganymede? I, I'm from Ganymede. Yeah, and I, from I Ganymede. worked there during the Mirror Fall. Okay, who, was, who said that? That was me. That was, I worked oh, there. Was, okay, yeah. already worked there too. So uh, Neville probably highly you know, capitalized on that to some degree, and, and you know, somehow you were known for something, and you, know, you managed to uh, to impress them and you know make you make uh, them welcome you all the more. Uh, so yeah, they're treating you very well. Um, and I also wanted what was it I was thinking here? Rylan Pax to go ahead and give me a leadership test, basically for for how well things are integrating. You know, did, did you how well do you coordinate with the uh, with the leaders of the Belter group and such? That'd be communication as well. Unless you want to lie to them and use the deception. Nah, <laughs> we'll get to deception in some other day. Fair uh, enough. All right. Leadership, we got ourselves uh, 14 with two stump points. <laughs> okay. So anybody have any thoughts on the, on the stunt usage there? Um... And there's a good standing, it's a good one, but um Yeah. I mean uh, in kind of like a broad sense she could uh or he could uh on the fence to like get the yeah. holdouts to come over. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. You, you, I mean, there are, you know, you, you, you're, Rylan is work. he's working with, um, with really, yeah, trying to bring in the outliers, the few people who are, who are a little disgruntled, because there's always a few, right? Oh. Um, and I'll say, you know, also, you, you have your eye on them a little bit, you know, <laughs> you, you, you kind of know who they are now. Um, yeah. So if they end up causing any trouble. There you go. All right. So you're off to a great start. Um, the uh, the whole thing there is doing well. Um, what? And let's say, does anybody have any other general colony things they wish to uh, discuss? So since I'm like in charge of repairing stuff and whatnot, his machines sound complicated. Uh, so I might mm -hmm. need like some spare time to like figure out that whole ordeal uh so i'm probably i mean you said that there were tech people potentially to recruit mm -hmm. from the belters and so i was going to try to organize like a small team to do like routine maintenance uh it's not the most exciting thing but it's, right uh, <laughs> i feel like it's necessary our, our, the machine we're trying to build the chiral inversion is that it's it's not we we can do it on a very small scale mm -hmm. right now right. but we, we're trying to scale it up to basically be like a combine like a like a full-blown like yeah. type thing and we're not even we're not close to that we need a few like another year or so to pull that off yeah part of the initial part there too i mean uh oh i didn't actually talk about that during the stream did i um one of the reasons that the planet was chosen is when the when these belters first got here um one of their shipments of grain or something basically spilled uh and they claim that it grew it actually grew in the soil here um which it shouldn't be able to do by all accounts and in fact they haven't been able to reproduce it but 
you know, there, there's some, you know, you kind of really want to look into, is there, you know, one spot or was there certain conditions or whatnot? You know, what caused that to grow? Um, I mean, it's up to you if you want to ignore that, you can, uh, you know, but, but that would, you know, probably be at least part of, of your first step. But anyway, yeah, there's, I mean, if you want to, I mean, if you just want to give me an etiquette test to see how well you recruit people to assist you, I'm totally down with that. And it would be my genuine pleasure, sir. Let's see, I got 10 shows. And I got... No stunt point? 12, no stunt points. Uh, and I have etiquette trained. Yeah, you have it as a skill. Yeah. So what's your total? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It'd be 11. I mean, it's, it's not an, a hard task, dude. It, I mean, the, honestly, a lot of them are happy to work, um, you know, on something other than just, you know, routine maintenance on someone's air conditioning unit or, well, probably dehumidifiers are, are kind of one of the big things <laughs> <laughs> that are constantly breaking down. Um, but yeah, the, you, you're able to recruit a, you know, a fair number of, of, uh, of getting your little cadre together to, or run around and fix stuff. Anyone else? Any initial setup? I would like to be curious how much of a security force we have. Like, if I'm the head you. of security, how many people? Just me. You and Loki. Yeah. Okay. That's all we need. We <laughs> we, Loki we need part time. <laughs> it's basically you. Is uh, I will work for you, but I don't do patrol, so I will sit in camera room and let you know if I see anything. I will give you a call. So of note, that could be a project, increasing mm. your force if you wanted it to be. Because your force right now is zero. Um, I, was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking one of the concerns I had with you, especially with these animals around the area, is trying to create like a uh, motion sensor network around the edge to monitor for their movements, both right. above ground and underground. So maybe some seismic sensors or something. Sure. Yeah, and I, I think it would be a good idea to maybe add a, at least a couple more people to our security force so it's just not just me up. 24 hours a day yeah yeah that would, i mean that would be a project that would be training them you know to, right. to, to be security forces um so uh i'm actually initially going to do uh growth uh checks every for once a month essentially mm -hmm. for this but your project tests will be once every three months because it takes mm, a little longer. Sense, you're not going to really be able to do something significant. In it's it's too it's too complicated. Like I I have my character's been thinking about this stuff for like five years, and then like went two years to get all the money together, and then spent a year and a half getting here. And right. Then, like, so it's like it's been the I understand. I mean, even though this is only be a three session campaign, it's probably be, you know it could be a three to five year campaign. <laughs> so like an actual yeah. time. takes place in the game. Hmm. Um, all right so well, I so i have a few so i want to have kind of a like a staff meeting okay okay now i usually i usually only have staff meetings with other wizards but today it's going to be this group um it's a bad joke if you guys know me it's a bad joke, right? <laughs> um so all right so i kind of i kind of send like a memo to everyone saying like all right i want to hear kind of a vote on these different projects that we're looking at like concerns about the colony number one tectonic plates i think tectonic plates are kind of a worry i'm not really sure like how if this place is stable it's unstable if stuff's gonna move stuff like that that would be nice it's also it's also kind of a giveaway according to what happened on illis if there's tech down there or not two the title issues uh we kind of aggressively put up the colony the tides might come in at some point they might go higher than we've recorded if we can somehow calculate and figure out and gather enough data off the moons and along with the uh movements of the planet we might be able to predict that a little bit better so we don't get flooded out and uh, threaten our infrastructure. Number three, marketing. I want these kids saying that's so soil by the end of the summer. <laughs> I can live without it though, okay? We can do it <laughs> uh, Number four, uh, that this, this kind of soil anomaly that happened with the Belters, I'm really curious in investigating that. I was wondering maybe Think of a combination of interviewing the belters and, and what exactly happened, looking at some of their data, but even going over and doing a soil survey of that area specifically might be kind of interesting as well. Um, of course, we'd want to negotiate this with them and compensate them for their time. 
Um, another one is a sensor project. Uh, I'm worried about these, uh, what I'm calling uh, grappos, like the big, the big grazing hippo things, whatever they are. Um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of worried about them moving around. So this might be a way of them making sure they don't come through our camp one night and tear it apart. And uh, per Neville's request, there's been a request to expand the security force. Uh, we could recruit, you know, we could certainly train up some people. But um, which of these sounds interesting to the team? I think uh, they're I all mean, great, boss man. I bet you those uh, grippos are delicious. That could be part of the wait, project. We, we could do that. Too. The way I'm going to do this is I'm, what I'm going to do is say that each of you it, it, it can lead a project if mm -hmm. you wish, um, and and that's that's your max on projects. Uh, so each of you can do one, one plot action, basically, mm. uh, do, for each three, each three months. Um, the, and, and just to sort of, you know, pull the curtain aside, the rules for this are there, uh, but they are also left very open to the game masters that, you know, it, 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 it you know, very much specifically says the frequency and how these are done. And it's up to you, you know, um, in this case, I think it would be cool to allow each of you to, to sort of lead up a, a particular prop, you know, plot action. Would, would you allow us to, like, if we want to double team on a certain project, like if we want to absolutely, to absolutely. Yeah, and that, that, I'll give you a little bonus for that if, you know, because okay. I, I, I read once that teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> <laughs> so that's your whole reason for doing it, <laughs> that's, that's it that little, little slogan. um okay so so those are the projects and i'm willing to um i definitely want to look at the soil project that one's really interesting to me personally that's probably Obviously, one of the that would be yeah. best equipped for i think it'd be a good idea for me to do you know security I agree. I will help Mr. Black try to do background checks to make sure it is safe people we hire. Uh, if we hire more security, we can go out and hunt the giant uh, maggots later. And now what's that? I mean, they might be edible. You never know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> they taste like scallops. <laughs> freshly buttered scallops. Mm. But the question is, do they have nutritional value? Yeah. No. The scallops. All right. <laughs> so we have right now. We, we are we are basically you're trying to boost up your security. Um, Nikki is is working on the soil project. Uh, uh, I definitely want to uh, head up the um, as you keep put it. Uh, make the kids say soil <laughs> angle, which is to say. Uh, make people feel more invested in this project so that, you know, they, even if they aren't directly involved, they are in fact trying to, uh, support us and support those who are involved and either not interfering with what we're doing or, um, you know, helping out when they can, where they can, and perhaps also doing some sort of marketing thing that can make the kids say that's so soil or something like that. Can make little stickers and such, you know. Yeah. Yeah. To hand out all right i mean i think that yeah that, i mean like we mentioned before i think that would be you know working on trying to increase your media um 100 percent, yeah in the situation yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. i guess i will try to orchestrate our uh maintenance team our engineering team to try to uh make our colony not fall into the swamp that is a good one. In fact, that's one you sort of need to do um, because it, it, because it, it's a it's a problem. Even the the, uh, the problem you're having is that the, even the pylons that you've put in are are sinking. So you know, I mean, it, it's like you know millimeters at a time, but eventually you could run into problems. Uh, so yes, yeah, so Darius is working on the the sinking problem. What about low key? Um, I was actually going to, I was just going to help uh, Neville work on his, and I thought about uh, helping Ryland as well. Uh, I have a video in mind that we may be able to show the colony. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, if, if, I think we should do recreation where someone walks in, you trip, oh, and you spill soil all over place. Then oh, that's right. we yeah. should grow from soil his plant. Eh? And we say, Dear, what is so soil? And now they think it's soil is miracle. Hmm. I think that's an interesting. No, that's an interesting. You know, you know, I was a little bit hesitant at first, but that is actually a, that we could go with that. You know, the idea that the soil is, you know, miracle of life and all of that. 
I like that. Def- all right, all right. Maybe we do a little fine tuning, but no, I think it's a good listen. I think it's a good uh, a good foundation that we can build upon. If this plan does not work, maybe we make Soil Song by end of summer a pop hit, top ten on on planet side. I, I think it, might song. Be, it might yeah. be up in the top three at this point, but uh, you know, um, as the, there's not that many songs that are going around right now. But we, that, that's another option. Um, perhaps we can find some bored musician who wants to sing about soil. Is if one of you comes up with a song by next session that, uh, <laughs> that uh, about the soil, I will I will give you a significant bonus. <laughs> I know a person. <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you can outsource. Okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come to the game with, with a song. Just creative enough <laughs> to write about soil. We got people. I got people, man. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Uh, I think actually it's almost nine o'clock, and I, I like to take like a little five minute break at the top of the hour if that's cool. Um, yeah. and, but, but we're about to move into the next phase here. So, it, Troy, are you here? Or always is body a... voice are you there <laughs> Troy. are you there Troy? It's me ian <laughs> yeah, can you can you, can you give us a five minute break thank you yeah, cool. <laughs> and right. so folks we will be back very shortly and we'll be moving into the second half of this where we will see if the how the colony establishes and how it grows for the first few months um and we'll go from there and then there might be some story too We'll see how it goes. Yeah. (laughs) See you soon.
Something's happening. Yeah, I think we're coming back soon. Hey. Hey, we're back. All right. Um, someone's like, okay. <laughs> uh, so we left off there. We, we've got the the colony pretty much set up. Uh, any last minute tweaks to what? Just to, just to go over what you're doing here. Yakiv is working on the soil project, which is you know that's the main thing. Uh, Neville and Loki are looking to fortify and boost security a little bit. Uh, Ryland is looking to uh, you know, get the say soil thing going and uh, and boost media. Um, and my handwriting is that bad. And uh, Darius, what were you doing again? I am trying. Oh, the, to make the sinking. The yes. sinking. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I also I cannot read my own writing. So, <laughs> well, especially when I'm writing while talking, sometimes it just it becomes <laughs> something completely illegible. Um, so, unless you have any other, anybody have any last minute tweaks or anything to what you're doing? I want to. I want to see this soil. All right. Show me. So show me the soil. Another one could workshop. All right, it's it's muddy. Uh, there there are some uh, uh, some areas that are a little a little drier, and, and in fact, the colony is in one of those. But it's sort of you know you know there, there's really swampy areas that are almost almost uh, underwater, almost you know sort of brackish water, and then it goes back up to um, but none of the land is dry. There's nothing, and and that's one of the things you you folks realize very quickly. Um, being dry is uh, something you no longer really comprehend. <laughs> you are always somewhat damp. It's humid, warm, um, and, and, and getting rid of that humidity is nearly impossible. Uh, our, I mean, uh, I, our number one, our number one import is talcum powder. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> You in fact do have a you do have a second supply ship uh, mm. coming in in about three months. Okay. Uh, th there was another one to, to come sort of to to stock up the rest of your food supplies and and that sort of thing. So cool. you have that coming in. So let's let's start. Uh, we're going to move into the meat of colonies which is colony growth we're gonna we're gonna do one of these for every month um we will uh we'll, we'll sort of take I, I think what we'll do is we'll just take turns uh you know three of you will do it this time and then and then whoever didn't next time we'll just have everybody go around making the colony growth uh checks um the way you do that is is Quite simply, it's a 3D, you know, it's a typical roll, 3D6. Um, you, the uh, difficulty is based on, 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 the, on the conditions. In this case, it is mildly challenging uh, because of the swampy heat and such. Um, you, make the, you, you make the test. Uh, if it succeeds, your colony is okay. Everything goes fine. It, it, it's it's chugging along. Um, if you fail, uh, you can lose stability, and yeah, and other things can maybe happen. If uh, if you get a a, um, a stunt die, if you if you get a stunt die, there are actually uh, there there are actually stunt uh, colony stunts uh, that you know plot stunts that allow you to uh, affect your colony positively. So they can that your colony can actually do things uh very fast and I said, at least to start out i'm going to do one a month uh for this session be, yeah, because you're sort of getting going so there's a lot of opportunity for change and that sort of thing um so uh I, i'm going to go reverse order this time and and start with gary on the first one if that's cool yeah no problem it'll be me and neville black um trying oh. to recruit recruit security those are gonna be the plot actions we'll get to oh, those okay. next i'm sorry this is this is just a 
this is just a growth check test and it's just for the entire colony how is the colony doing this is a check-in on the colony's okay. temperature I and see. you do get uh you use your highest um attribute which is science so you get a plus three to whatever you roll got it uh well let's sling them d6s and see what happens go do it i have rolled Two, six, and a five for a 13 altogether, plus three is 16 with no stun points. Okay, the first month goes goes well. Um, I'm just gonna sort of have you make the rolls and then I'll, I'll describe the whole thing. So Maria, if you'd like to make the the second month. Okay. And then you said- um, It's three, six have... plus three, you need 11. Three, six plus three, okay. Three plus three for your science. Science? Science. Weird science. Uh, 12 with four stunt points. Okay. Uh, 12 is uh, better than what you needed, so that's good. Um, and you also get the you get the stunt points. Uh, so I'd like to I'd like to make a request on how to spend those stunt points. Sure. Well, the, the, I don't know if everybody has has the thing, but if you, if you want to throw up, what, yeah. What, what, what I would suggest at? that we uh, engage in added industry that we could up one of our ability scores from a by one as long as it's below five all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of go through their all of your options here mm. just to let those who are, are watching okay. know what what theoretically you could have done um but yeah and then you, you can make that final decision uh so one stunt point options or stockpile which gets you uh you can add extra stability equal to the stunt point stat, spent uh, basically upping your hit points, <laughs> uh, create, create an opening, gain a plus two bonus to your next plot action. Um, so, it, you know, it, basically your next plot action, you could mm. do a thing. You get a bonus. So one of these plot actions, uh, analyst, you uncover, uh, insight or intelligence about the target operate. Well, you know, targeting operation in this case, countermeasures, uh, Pick a focus. The operation cannot use. Oh, no. Okay, again. I think you're, I think not... you're looking at the, the plot stunts, Ian. I am looking at the plot stunts. I'm looking at the wrong ones, aren't I? No, oh, no. It does use those. It just can't. Not all of these are going to apply. But very. I may have done something wrong here. Mm -hmm. It's on 102. 102. That's what I thought. Okay. But I do. I'm doing the wrong one. Ah, there we go. I'm sorry. I did this wrong. Look at the wrong ones. You're right. Uh, so, yeah, one, rebuild, add a stability point, kit, supply one character with an important, significant piece mm. of equipment, or 1d3 minor items, discovery, this is we're getting the twos, is discovery, the colony learns something about the planet arrival groups, reveal two ability scores or focuses, of uh, a local threat or neighbor to colonies project. So that uh, that discovery could theoretically be used against the swamp um, mm. to, to to learn why, you know, what's causing the sinking, which would give you, a, you know, basically you, you learn about one of its focuses to be able to help combat it. Or if you consider the big creatures a threat, you know, you could... Uh, you can use it against them to learn one of those. Uh, high morale plus two bonus to the next plot action, which is you know that yeah. applies as well. To also remove a single colony condition, you don't have any conditions at this point, so you're fine. Um, increase uh, three is inc uh, redundancies increase resolve by one, which you know, ma makes you better defended against future damage. Uh, specialist, a colonist trains a new skill, or a specialist joins the colony. Um, Three trade network, you would have, uh, attract the attention of a trading ship, which makes better equipment available time to time. Uh, four, add an industry, increase an ability rated five by, by five or less by one. Four, also new arrivals, increase the colony size from outpost to settlement. We are already a settlement. I, and four, actually, add a focus. I actually decided you, you convinced me differently here. I actually I want to do discovery and high morale. I'd like to discover something about the uh, grazing creatures. Um, or about the oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I like to discover something about the ground and then have that add to Darius's check. 
about stabilizing the colonies, like structure. Okay, that's the structure thing. Does everybody agree with that? Is that that's right, kind so of like you... the height of our priority list? Is make sure this this sucker does not fall into the the sink. Yeah, you guys can help me make the roll that matters. I appreciate. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. It, we'll it is current. It is currently the only known problem. That's the only problem you actually know of. There may be others, maybe, but but that is the only thing you know is an issue. So you are taking. What was that again? Uh, a discovery. So he so he learns. Uh, we reveal two ability scores or focuses on a local threat. Yep. Uh, and then high morale on that, so it's extra plus two bonus on that plot point. Okay. Because we, we are yeah. very we have a there's a very we are very motivated not to sink into the swamp. Really? <laughs> Shockingly, <laughs> yes. I, I've seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail a few times, and they I learned sink. Castles can sink into swamps repeatedly. I'm okay with it, but that's because I worship what lies beneath. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Wait, oh, you're, oh. The, you're the one doing the main research, and you're okay Whoa. with it, is it? <laughs> we have I a second to go <laughs> All right, so that was our second one. You see, you know, obviously, apparently the colony is doing well so far. Uh, Darius, would, uh, would you like to do the... Uh, that plus three. Yep, plus three, 3d6 plus three. Oh, this is a growth check again? Yes, this is a growth check again. We're doing three months worth. Uh, 14 all together. Any stun points? No. Okay, 14, you succeed. So two successes, but all three were successes. Nothing major bad happens. Um, and uh, and uh, but you also had some good stuff happen, so that that's how you do growth checks. Uh, thank you, John, for putting me in the right place. That's my problem with not having all my stuff. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong chart. Um, next, okay. Well, let me let me fill you in on what happens during that time. Um, month one, uh, yep, yeah, goes pretty much uh, without any um you know nothing nothing unusual happens at all except that uh two colonists go missing uh during that time it's not enough to actually hurt your colony at all but uh they were out uh getting some soil samples um and they just disappeared uh they don't they don't return i should say i shouldn't say they disappear uh is there anything how do you respond to that? <laughs> well, I would like to start an investigation and see if we can figure out where they went, if they just wandered off, if they've gotten hurt, left, left somewhere. Okay, so you're, you're going to head out into the swamps to where they were supposed to go. Yeah. Basically, what they, what they were doing is that they, they, you, there were different teams going out or different groups going out to grab samples at you know, different locations, uh, you know, it, that looked a little bit, ge you know, ge uh, geologically different. Um, and so. Yeah. And if possible, I want to take like a small group of people with me. So I'm not you, out there alone. No, well, I mean, you do have Loki if you want to grab him and you can, grab Loki. Your, your, your recruits at this point are completely untrained. They are green. I mean, it's up to you whether you, you know, if you want to take green recruits out, can we, can we have slap a, a red shirt on him? <laughs> I, you know, he is dressed for the occasion. Um, <laughs> could we, could we have Loki possibly take out some of our, uh, like survey drones, like to, to support Neville on his excursion versus like going out in the field by himself or, you know, yes, I love that idea. It is not quite as humid inside, then I won't have to wait in that disgusting hot field for six hours. I could stay home and run communications and uh, visuals if you like. The, uh, uh, of note, um, you, you do have a few survey drones. Uh, to, to increase that number would inquire some, you know, like extra equipment as one of your growth checks. Uh, oh, I, I, we'll I will say. allow that you have a few survey drones, though. Those uh, recruits however, will always be green unless you take them to the field level. You know what I mean? The first thing you find you find out very quickly that there are there are some issues 
uh, the atmosphere. Well, one, I mentioned that there's some electromagnetic interference that, that is disrupting communications a little bit. Um, it's, it's not impossible, but it, you know, that's not great when you're trying to fly a drone. Uh, if you cut out for a bit, <laughs> what, you know. Fortunately, I mean, these are smarter than our drones and will probably just hover there, you know, while, while you, until you get reconnected, but it is an issue. Um, second, the atmosphere itself, uh, the, the constant, the humidity, and there is, there is something slightly acidic um, about the water. It's not enough to harm you. I mean, if you swam around naked in it for, for a few hours, you'd probably, you'd probably be a little itchy and burny, but, but it's... But it is enough to mess with with the uh, machinery a little bit. Again, this isn't saying you can't do it. Just a warning that if, <laughs> if things go poorly, um, things can happen. Uh, do you have okay? Technology would be or yeah, or security actually would be appropriate for running drones. I imagine um, or piloting. Yeah, piloting would be if you get into a situation where it actually has to mm. do something. I'll require you know, some kind of piloting role, but just to get them up there and, and go out, I'll you know I'll allow technology um, or you know intel basically an intelligence check, but I'll, I'll allow the technology bonus. Um, and Neville, how many people do you want to grab? Take up I just want to take. Dozen. I'll take. A small team of me and two others. Nothing huge. Okay. Nothing other. Okay. So three of you actually go out with support from Loki on uh, with drones. Is anybody else is anybody else involved in this on any level or I, I'd like to supervise. Like yeah, I'll watch I'd the watch the feeds. Go. Okay. Yeah, you could watch Loki's feeds. I'm sorry, Darius, what were you? Oh, I'll physically go. Oh, you'll physically go? Okay. Yeah. In case the drone goes down or something, mm, you know, move. I can fix it. And... I think uh, I'd like to sit in our in the conference room with uh, Rylan as we, uh, him and I, watch the feed and just kind of checking things out, watching the data that's mm -hmm. coming through, stuff like that. Yeah, and I okay. think uh, I think that I I will basically be in correspondence with, with people like in the. Um, in the colony just to make sure like hey keep me updated if you basically putting like a missing persons flyer out to the community in case they happen to like leave you know they disappear in the swamp but they came back and just didn't tell anybody right we'll start making so that's memorial kind of I'm also... what we'll do is we'll start making memorial t-shirts and it says sponsored by enigma Soilworks llc on the back <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry guys marketing's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna start with loki giving me a technology test uh with intelligence technology so you get a total of plus five to it so you know that should hey, probably right. go okay mm -hmm. so slap in three sixes. i have rolled a 10 and i rolled two fours but the stunt die is a two um of course plus the five right is 15. okay so you get a total of 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this is investigation stunt. Just trying to think if there's anything that's appropriate to that. If you want to take a look at that? I'll get to the other two, and then I'll if, take if a you look. want to see, take take a look at maybe investigation or general. Perfect. Um, so Neville and Darius heading out into the swamps with your two red shirts. Um, Let's see here. Can I use a guardian angel, but use it within five meters of a, of a drone? Can I make a drone take a shot instead of an ally if it comes to that? Um, circumstances permitting. Okay. I, 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 I'm not going to say fully yes, but yes, may, likely. Maybe. Okay. Yes. V very likely. That's what um, I use my stunt point on. Uh, thank you. If okay, so so it's it's protecting. Is, is that, that correct? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna use it to, to body block just in case. Okay, then yes. In that case, yes. I forgot that's a that's a stunt. Um, uh, going out there. First thing I would like is each of you to give me a Constitution test. If you have stamina, you can use that. It's it's. It's not easy moving through the swamp. Got 14. 14? You're good. You need, a, you need 11. 
did both of you? But there'll be Neville and Darius. Oh, my mic was music. I got an eight. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you got an eight. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you, uh, you're going out there, and uh, at one point, Darius gets kind of stuck. Um, the the and what happens is he's going. You're going along, and he, he sort of sees something interesting. Is something some movement? and moves over there, and the swamp sort of starts bubbling, like swamp gases coming up all around you. Um, and you find yourself sinking into the swamp. I will do my best to try to uh, grab onto him and not let him be sucked all the way down. Okay. Uh, really? <laughs> That's I mean, I, I don't, if you have a have anything, you I, I mean, I, I can't really see what the drone could really do there um, at this point. But if you have any ideas, yeah, you, know, you have the guardian angel too. Um, the let's see here, grabbing at him would be. Uh, I imagine that would be a straight up, uh, you know, be fighting, you have brawling, you know, be a grab essentially. So I will allow fighting brawling. Okay. I'm grabbing at him. Uh, 12. 12. Okay, you, you got him, uh, not terribly well, but you sort of grabbed him by his suit. Uh, and the, and the, the ground around it, well, the water continues to, to burble even more. Um, so you're going to try and pull him out? Is that yes? what you're thinking? Okay. Do I smell any like, like a... The sulfur smell is stronger. Much stronger. stronger. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, th playing this will be a straight scary. strength test. Okay. Can I, can I be Mike, another, if you have it. Can I be in there ear real quick? Like, can I, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, say something. Okay. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, Neville, we're getting a lot of sulfuric readings over there. Please be careful with your firearms. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Uh, and I got a 10 total. You pull. <laughs> and and uh, he uh, he sinks uh, a little bit further. Uh, it, well, a good bit further. He's sort of up to his uh, chest. I'll motion, over to the, I'll motion over to the two red shirts that are with this and be like, a little help would be really nice right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, you can make an additional test. Um, but and I will give you a plus two for you know them assisting you essentially. Okay. And they they don't seem terribly you know confident about this. And in this case, um, you do need a fifteen at this point. Okay. Just got a fifteen. Just all right. 15. It it they the, you know all three of you grab him and pull back. Uh, and I mean it makes this horrible squelching farting sound basically. <laughs> Um, with, 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 the, with the sulfurous gases released all around you and you all fall back into the mud um, and it, it continues bubbling for a few moments and then stops wow, thanks, man. After that. yeah you're, you're welcome <laughs> if you would have had a red shirt on you would have been mm. the thing you're wearing what you're wearing no uh, yeah but be careful <laughs> <laughs> be careful next time I tell Rylan as well, it's a lot less paperwork we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass 20 credits to Yakiv. I thought they were going to die for short. Sure. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, all right. So eventually you do make it to the last recorded location or you know, where they were supposed to go. Um, uh, I will allow perception tests, seeing um, or searching, or let's see, seeing rather, um, seeing or searching. Uh, Loki, uh, you can make one as well. Uh, basically, you're doing it through the drone. I have a big fat perception too, so that's good news. All right, yeah, you do. You have a three. Mm -hmm. And I'm trained in searching as well. Yes, you are. <laughs> So who you have in role is just Loki oh, or it, it, oh, no? All three of you can. All, okay. All three. All three. Uh, Neville, Darius, and Loki. Does my hearing help at all? No. Okay. Sorry. Fair enough. Not in this case. All right, Ian. I got a big one for you. It's a sixteen altogether. 
Uh, yep. Double threes with five stun points. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. All right. Um, I got a 17 with triple fives. <laughs> okay. I was busy staring at two of the suns at the same time with both eyes and got a seven. Okay. <laughs> Go cross eyed as a. <laughs> You uh, you now have a you know, negative two to all you know, a burn your cornea <laughs> until you get the medical <laughs> attention. Um, yeah, that's two fives, right? Two five stun point ones. Yeah, I got five. Hmm. That's some craziness. I did get double threes with uh, okay. three so- on the drama, so. Three more. Oh, three, three. Okay. I thought yeah, I did. Fives. Okay. But... All right. So you do find evidence that they were there uh, right off the bat. Uh, you've, uh, you you manage to you find an area where this where the soil has been disturbed uh, somewhat. This is actually in one of the you're actually in one of the drier areas here. Um, you find an area where you know the you know, where obvious clearly they they shoveled up some stuff. You actually find a dropped piece of equipment. Um, just a, you know, a shovel and you know, a couple, you know, something like that. Uh, and you find an area that is clearly uh, disturbed, not by them. Um, you notice right off the bat that it's almost identical in size to the to the area that was burbling in the uh, in the swamp. Um, and it, 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 you know, it's just, it seems, it looks almost like something very similar happened in this spot. Uh, but yet the, I mean, like I said, none of the soil is dry, right? It's all peaty or loamy and, and, and damp. Um, so, but yeah, it looks, it just looks like something burbled up. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's all disturbed in this sort of uh, about a meter in diameter area. Um, you're fairly, yeah, yeah, that's, that's about the best I can give you, even though you're, you're, you're supposed to have a breakthrough here. I'm trying to think. Well, can we like run our hands? Like, can I stick my hands in there and see if I can feel anything that feels um, not natural, something that just seems different compared to the rest of the environment? What about the, um, uh, I was going to ask you, what about the drone? Can't the drone see in different spectrums too, not just like. Oh, good point. There you go. That, that, that that's how I'll give you your breakthrough. Um, your drone, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> um, you're, yeah, and, and you're you're reaching, and, and you're actually able to reach through the soil. It's like it, it, because it's so aerated and, and broken up. Um, but the drone is able to scan it, and with you know different uh, different scanning technologies, uh, there seems to be a tunnel, basically, the almost almost perfectly a meter in diameter going straight down our readings so, indicate that you are standing right on top of some kind of subterranean tunnel i don't think it'd be a good idea to try to go down there to be honest um and you are almost certain that uh, based on the tracks and such in the area uh and where they were that the uh two that the the, uh, the colonists who were out out here uh, ended up down there. Well, at least yeah. while you're there, Mister Black, put up a sign that says "No spelunking," and maybe we'll not lose more people in the future. Would be a bad idea. Do we have any kind of like um, robotic drones that can submerge into this and kind of like a RC car or something that can? <laughs> I can um, something. your drone. <laughs> possibly could be is it because it is so aerated i mean it's shocking how i mean it's it's like reaching your hand into water basically i mean it it, it almost doesn't feel like soil it's really weird um the uh and and another thing is you can see down the drones can uh can get a spectral image down to about maybe 15 meters um and it whatever it, it continues down below that and as far as you can tell uh, and you do not see any uh, any sign of of bodies or anything in there. It's not like they're you know five meters down. Just so they could be alive. They could be. More likely they've drowned in this water, though. 
I mean, if it's soupy and muddy, there's no way they're breathing down there. Yeah, but if I was trapped down there, I would want you to look. Well, like I said, there seems to be some kind of structure. Uh, it, it, like th there is actually a tube of some sort. Oh, under, it's under not, okay. To some degree. Is it? Is any? Is the rim of this tube like? No, it's not visible. Okay. It's, it's under the ground. It, it, it's about it's about a meter under the ground. Okay. I just Let's advise start. you to watch your step. It will likely you will fall right through. It might pull you in. Um. I'm willing to we, go in if you want me to, Darius. I think step one is tie a rope to a tree. There, there aren't actually. But there's sort of. Yeah, I guess there's swamp trees. Yeah, sure. I mean, like trees. mandrake kind of like. Yeah, like, that, yeah, exactly. Mandrake kind of stuff. Sup, something. Try try something solid. Or people just hold it because uh, I already got stuck in there. Yeah. Um, with with all of the, with all those stunt points that you all generated, the other three, I will say you had the foresight to bring some rope if you, if you want that. Yeah, yeah I actually have a, five, too. It was a you know you guys expected to be on a mission to rescue people the, the exact purpose was to come out here and find them and bring sure. them back so it tracks you might have some gear exactly you know or you know it, in case someone got stuck stuck in the swamp unfortunately darius was the one carrying the rope <laughs> <laughs> so, and it went under underwater before would 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 um would a vac suit work down there potentially I mean, okay. is that vac suit would, 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 I mean, the water is it, vac suits are not intended to go underwater. Right. Um, okay. They depend on we, circumstances. Can we modify one to, to adapt it? I mean, with the tools sure. we have, we got science stuff around. I mean, we're sure yeah. we could rebond it or yeah. something. Right. Uh, that, that's not a bad idea. Uh, is there a way that I could do something to the drone to make it able to get down there better? Uh the drone you would have to sort of build a new type of drone because gotcha. it, like a flying drone isn't going to be able to go down in there because it's going to be jammed up right away but you know if, if you if you modified one to basically roll down you know it might i don't know if we have that kind of time uh hey no, no, you're willing no. to go down <laughs> time me up i'll go down just uh, gonna drop into a <laughs> I just I like mean, to... you'll drown very, or, or I mean, you will suffocate, you know, fairly quickly. To, just yeah. of note. <laughs> I'd like yeah, to have I'll that like... camera moment where I I look at Yakiv, uh, I look at John's character, then I turn and look at Rylan. Like, did he just see he's going down? <laughs> that, that, hey, hey, Neville, hey, I, we don't need you going down there, man. Uh, we'll we'll come back out with some gear and do it proper, right? I, I'm willing so, to. Go, the the the. the 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 uh, the drones tell us there's nothing down there for 15 meters or so. Uh, you're not gonna make it that far, buddy. Uh, and we want to make sure you, we're, you're no good to us uh, dead. So why don't you come on back to camp? We'll take a get a back suit modded up for you, and you can go on down there with uh, with, with a better security and a uh, better chance of coming out. Because we okay, don't need boss. to lose we don't need to lose three people today. I follow your lead, boss man. All right. All right. Oh man. And I, I kind of look at Rylan and, 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 and Loki, and I'm like, oh, man, these operations, they never get easy. Then it's, uh, they, the, the Belgians, you know, I, I love them to death, but they do some kind of rambunctious things once in a while. And uh, we'll make sure they do it safe. Uh, I got I got these two red shirts here. Uh, we don't all have to go back. Maybe we can start, like, excavating some to try and get to the, like, rim of this thing we could bring hard in because it's all swampy but. well what we could do i'm looking at the situation now and i'm thinking why don't we go and like get bring in like a barrier that we could put around that piece and then we could bring mm -hmm. in a pump and start trying to pump water out of it um kind of how they do bridge making uh and figure a way to get to lower the water level there at least so we might have a, we can get further in like how they pull people out of grain silos yeah mm -hmm. pretty much yeah yeah that's yeah. very much what it's like. It, it, the soil there is almost, it, it, mm. it would be, it, it, that's actually a perfect analogy. It yeah. is a grain south side. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, that's not a bad idea. All right. Um, listen, listen, our best stat for this colony of science is you, the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Your so are you all heading back? 
first or yeah. are you, you going to do okay so you are heading back yeah, we'll head back yeah maybe we okay. should leave the drone here in case anything develops so we can keep an eye on the situation i think that's I think a fantastic that's a idea. idea yeah i think it has a power cell it's yeah the last at least a day um cool yeah all right so you, i'm not going to make you make another test to get back uh you know you, Thank you. you know what to look for now <laughs> and <laughs> you know you probably take your time you know um, but yeah, you, you managed to get back with, with no difficult, with you know, little difficulty. I'm gonna, I'm um, gonna put my hand across the chest of a red shirt and be like, "Look out!" And I'll be like, "Ah, you gotta, you gotta stay weary out here, man." So here's uh, while they are gone and, and coming back, there are colonists starting to you know, uh, murmur, basically, you know, what, what happened, where, where did they go, why are they heading out there. Uh, so Maria, are you going to handle yep. that in any way? Oh, and, and, absolutely. And what are absolutely. you going to tell them? Listen, sometimes they just need a little bit of a, a comfort and word in their ear just to make it a little bit easier to take this hard information that, you know, they might not be coming back. Or it might just be a little bit, you know, just give it a little bit of time. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> when, when the go, soil when... is good and strong and it's also going to, you know, sometimes the, the soil giveth and the soil taketh away. You know how it is. <laughs> Maybe not well, quite so hard on that last bit, but you know, just kind of like a diffusing situation of we're we're taking care of it. We're gonna, you know, we're doing what we can. We got the smartest people on it right now, you know. And I want to say, okay. I, when, when when we do this press release or whatever kind of thing we do, a little town square, whatever it may be, video. Yeah, I want to I want to stand in the back in my lab coat to add, you know, legitimacy to whatever. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Stand. We literally have a we have a scientist standing by. <laughs> 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 um so, so, so be, but but just to be clear you are telling them that the people are missing you are letting them know that people are missing i am letting them know that as of right now they have not returned it's not okay. yet determined if they are missing or if they have just been out longer than uh than perhaps they told us they would be so okay uh, they're past they are, due. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm not going to re have... require a test yet. I don't want to wait until you until you decide whether to because it, you know, they're not going to be back. I, by I think we should. I think we should tell them that we have some people that uh, we're looking for. Not tell them that we're missing, but we're looking for them. Make sure we spin it. Yes. You know. Okay. So That's so okay. That works. Idea. All right. So okay. In that case, let's see. You're not actually lying. So yeah, just get correct. Just it, it's definitely not lying. It's right. um, spinning I, the truth in a different light. Right. So get, get, definitely get, not lying. <laughs> leadership, I think, works for this. Yes. Excellent. I do love leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, also, there's, there's also persuasion, but I guess I guess leadership. You're not really persuading them of anything, though. You're just, you're just you're just trying to well. I should mention that that the character has a master in oratory talent, which oh, is a vision based thing, and they have, have the sway. They can do the sway the crowd stunt for cheap. Um, <sighs> so, but they, they also get a, if they're working a crowd, they can reroll any communication persuasion check. I, I, you know what? I, I'm go, I'm going to allow you to use that for this, <laughs> even though it, it's it's. Because it's somewhere between persuasion and leadership, yeah. so yeah, yeah fine. Yeah. Well, what's interesting and you have that, both. You that have talent. Both, so. That talent actually lets you follow up with a leadership test to get them to do something. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll that persuasion check yes. then, because it wasn't terrible, but it could be better. Or awesome. it could be worse. Burn fortune. Um, all right. Burn fortune. <laughs> what you get? Oh, that's true. I don't know. There it is. Um, so yeah. uh, ba, 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 I got right, 12. Right. That is exactly what I was thinking. So yes, uh, you. you I, oh, but I did get three sum points. Ha ha. Okay. Ha ha. The thing I can do, which is sway the crowd, needs two of those. And I can affect... I mean, three additional people, but... Yeah, it's not really... <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, you, you affect some of the leaders of the group. How, how's mm -hmm. that? Yeah, you basically... That, people, I mean, that, you get, that tracks, yeah. 
Yeah, is it there? Are, there are sort of different cool. factions based on where they were from originally. Like you know, that there's a palace one and a and a Ganymede group, and yeah, they they intermingle clearly. But I know can who I, to talk to in this crowd of people. Right. Can I can I step in real quick and and, and like I want to I want to take the mic and say something to the crowd. Sure. <laughs> okay. I think there's a moment yeah. where Ryland's like, "What are What are you doing? What are you doing?" <laughs> I, I look. I want to tell everyone here. You remember when the we all remember when the mirrors fell on Ganymede. I was there and how horrible it was. But we we got through it. We were all together. It didn't matter where we were from. We got through it together, and that's what we're doing here. So I'm I'm with you. I kind of give him my whole like each being a better dinner type thing, you know. Right. <laughs> you know, I got, I'm one of you with with all of you here, but um, and uh, if you want me to roll, it'll be tragic. Um, <laughs> So please no, I, imagine I, I, though i well, like I, I set use, them all up I, I and then you crash training, them down. i am trained in expression uh, yeah yeah i was just gonna i was just looking at that yeah <laughs> which is exactly like, pretty much what you were doing my ideas doing an interpretive dance. Dance. Well, okay, i did that because my like, character yeah. has like big science ideas and i wanted to be able to explain his science ideas <laughs> Expl- okay uh, that's a pretty good okay i got a 14. Okay. Um, yeah. Between the two, I mean, yeah. So you, 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 you calm them. Rylan calmed them down. Like you stop them from like you know freaking out at all and sending people immediately out to look for their their loved ones. Uh, and then then you sort of follow it up with you know just, just really you know, you have them solidly enthralled and, and they're 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 willing to wait at this point. Uh, to see how things play out without putting. I, just, I want them to know that we we are trying and are we are leveraging resources. We're not going to let this slide. Okay. This is you could show out. them. Uh, you could show them some of the three D scans we have too that show the cave that leads down and how. Oh, I don't want to tell them there's underground there. caves here. Yeah, okay. I, I, I didn't hear anything because about caves. Might be like, you don't want like, to start um, that. No, no, well, because then the people them. might have like their own like. They they're gonna go and find out. People. Yeah, they're gonna go. They're gonna go like. Like rubberneck all over that, and some are gonna take a shot. And then we're gonna go from two to to twelve people missing. I was like, we're about to have some explored caves. No spelunking rule is gonna be at the top of our list next time. (laughs) (laughs) Spelunking with supervision. All right. So uh, by by early evening, the the uh, the the rest of the team returns. Late afternoon, early evening, uh, the the town and you know the, the the sun was pretty much gone back to normal. Uh, there are a few families, you know, who are are standing by, you know, nervously, but but you've got them got them calmed down. Um, so where what did when they get back? What's what's the plan? There, start then? prepping suits. I, I while they're on the way back, I start prepping a suit to make sure it's watertight. Um, I use some. Of, um, I'm welcome to use like my. I can use research to go look it up how to do this, and I can use my intelligence just to try to like uh, put it together. You know what I what I what I will allow? How about this? Because I mean, you, you're not really a technical. I mean, you're not really a, a mechanic. Um, yeah. But but what I will do, it, you can uh, make a research test while they're coming back, and if you make that eleven, um, they'll get a bonus then because because you've you've arranged all the research for it. Yeah, I got a 16 on that research test real quick with four stunt points. Um, <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just, no, I'll, I'll use Speed Demon on that just to like do it in half the time. Okay. Um, and make sure I can get some extra things here. And I'm kind of seeing like how, how you would do this. And then a lot of it is like reminding me of different like laboratory procedures on how to like create sealants and like hazmat stuff. So I'm right. kind of trying to leverage that knowledge into it and make sure to gather materials that will help them on that and make it as easy as possible. With you. So yes, what what since your speed demon would get it done way before you know, back, I'll also apply that to somewhat to their cool. uh, to, to the people building it, you know, because because you have it all ready to go for them essentially. With my technology and security training, it makes sense for me to build it before they get back. Also, he's working on it, and I can. Be, oh, I forgot you're. I forgot you're. You're the. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so I can be tinkering it together. Yeah. So yeah, you could be working on it. Um, technology is. Pretty much straight up what you'd want for that. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. So we, what's, what's improvisation do? Uh, improvisation, I believe, is the one that lets you. You don't need the focus. But oh, okay. You yeah, gen- yeah. You cannot generate stunt points. Okay, Great. that's not that's not helpful in this case. So yeah, it'd be a straight technology test then to do this. Um, I think you're thinking of Maker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But but yeah, I just I couldn't. I, couldn't I have good. Good. Call it challenging to do this. I mean, it is a little bit difficult. Uh, so call it a 13. 
I rolled a 14. Huzzah. Okay, um, you have begun, you would not have them all done, by, because he had to do the research first. Uh, but but and you also had a plus two to that. So uh, yeah, you, you have begun. How many suits do you want to make? A pair would be good. Two? Okay, uh, I'll say by the time uh, they get back, uh, you have one you know, fully coated and, and set up and ready to go. Uh, it'll take, uh, Call it three hours to finish another one. Um, cool. Bust up the super once glue. they get back. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming you're doing this right. You know, you're you're not yeah. ju- you're you're not you're not slapping. No, like, <laughs> the right. only I, I, reason I I'm doing it right is because of Dr. Yakiv Butenko. If it was me, they would be That's just right. uh, duct tape and hose. You know, they'd be ready to go. I got an extra right. package of bandages. That's going to be your sealant. Go. <laughs> well. I, one of the things, like I said, that the water's a little corrosive too, and and, and again, vac suits aren't really designed to withstand a corrosive atmosphere so, or yeah. corrosive situation. So, there's, you know, you want to coat them and a bunch of different things to make sure they're, they're safe. I mean, they would protect you for a while, you know, yeah. it, it would it would work, but it just wouldn't work necessarily forever. Um, uh, I can help make the second suit. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, but both of you then can can work on the second one. So, um, yeah, I want to ask. So, I asked. I kind of asked Neville to give me kind of his assessment of the situation. While since he's the head of security, while he was out there, like, what do you think's going on? Like, I don't know if it's um, maybe those hippo creatures we've seen are burrowing. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a hole that these people have fallen in. What was the was the hole in the ground? Was it was it I can't remember, Ian, was it perfectly square or was it like... No, was circular. It was it circular. circular. Was it, was it perfectly circular or was it like... It seemed near perfectly circular, yes. Yeah, and I, I showed it to Neville and I said, but this seems really perfectly circular. I, I suspect that this, I mean, it could be some sort of leftover uh, occupancy of, of the, the builders of some sort, but uh, we'd have to pump all that stuff out and really get our hands dirty. Well, you and your team would have to get your hands dirty. I'm I'm fine with that if we if we need to get in there and really work at it to see what this is. If it's something that's out of the norm for us, the more I'm willing to jump right in and do what needs to be done. Fair. So, uh, so yeah, I, why don't both of you make a test? Uh, whoever gets highest wins. Only one of you can earn stun points. Uh, well, sort of, see, you know, I just allow both of you to do that on making this the second suit. See how long it takes and how well it's done. I have a twelve, but I can re-roll failed tests if I fail. Okay, then re-roll it. And Loki, you get to roll one too, Gary. Ooh. you get to re-roll. You get to roll as well. Both both of you. I'm, I'm using the best roll between two of you. Triple fives for me. Um, it's better than me. I got 13. Let's just say you wrap up the next one in an hour with, with the two of you working on it. <laughs> and it, and it's it really demon again? Yeah, basically, I'm just going to go with that. And and, and and it'll get, the if the suits require a test, they'll, they'll get a, a small bonus as well. Excellent. And I'll, I'll, I'll test the suits real quick. I'll use something like, like I said, I have half right. that training, all kinds of stuff. Just check on them. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Drop some sulfuric acid on them. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, we're, we're, we're dropping acid. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that kind of colony, people? <laughs> that's an option. <laughs> well, that's what that I was explains saying, my man. background. I just, yeah, when I when I you know uh, when I asked for a haircut, I said give me the cult leader special. <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, yeah, okay, cool. So we got this. We got to set up. Um, if Neville wants to go back in the field right now, head up there. I'm totally game for it. Uh, and we could bring it. We could send in. We have another, we have like another drone, but I don't know how to risk two of them on one thing. I want to at least bring more people with me this time. I don't really want to. Hey, just Ryan, three, four people ain't enough. Ryland, hey, I, I, I asked Ryland, hey, do you think um, any of the the locals might be willing to help out to have maybe some training on stuff like this? I could definitely see if uh, if we can scrounge up a couple a uh, couple of at least hardier folks uh, who can who can help you out. Yeah. yeah, mostly people with like uh, rope experience would help a lot, or any kind of like search and rescue would be great. 
Yeah. So yeah. And, and, and if they have medical, if they have med tech training, even better. I'd like to, I'd like to have at least a half a dozen of us going. All right, I'll see okay. if I can uh, I can do that. I will send out a call to the wild, and by the wild I mean the colony. Um, a, a, an open an open invitation for a special uh, assignment. I, I tell them tell what it is. Like, tell are, 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 oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's going to be in the description, but it's going to start, you know, like the job description sort of thing is a special assignment of like Enigma Soil Works LLC. And then it's like, you will be part of the exclusive, et cetera, et cetera. You know, make it like, it's a big deal, but like make it a bigger we call them, deal. We call them the Search Avengers. <laughs> search Avengers. <laughs> No. <laughs> and we're gonna make t-shirts. <laughs> oh no, there's so many shirts. <laughs> they all say soil on the back. They all say soil, yeah. They're, they're back sponsored by, brought to you by. This is manufactured uh, t-shirts. Yeah. All right, so uh, are, the, this is the thing, are you actually, how much detail are you giving to the colony about um, you know, what, what exactly has happened? There's a tube that goes down into the ground and they fell into it kind of thing? For for this one, um, I don't think I want to go that specific. I think the uh, the general idea is to, you know, be, be a bit more uh, upfront of like, hey, we need more people to help on the, this um, uh, survey crew to try and locate the uh, other team. Um, you need to have these kind of requirements. Please inquire within, you know, something, something similar to that, you know, things you might face, tre treacherous, hazardous swampiness, um, things you can fall in, you know, all of the like potential <laughs> actual hazards. Um, but not Without necessarily saying being a like, circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not saying like, oh, Hey, we also found this underground strangeness that we have no idea what it is. And also they might be down there or they might not be. And this could potentially s spell your doom, you know, want to gloss over that, that particular part as a, this, this you know, will need to know <laughs> and need to know basis. <laughs> I, you're going to make this because I, I mean, you know, you, you can use persuasion and I'm going to give you a plus two simply because the colony is going to want to rescue their people. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Um, yeah. So excellent. Yeah, if it's rescuing one of you guys, they might yeah. be a little more resistant. But. And we, and we've established that we are a caring corporation. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, that is a 19. <laughs> You, you get you get your people you get you get some, you know, you get some experience <laughs> medical people and and search and rescue i mean their search and rescue experience is not quite you know swamp um but but if they have any in like space i mean space is harder than swamp yeah but it's different but <laughs> different different yes but also harder so like if you can do it in space you might be able to do it as well yeah no i mean there are certain <laughs> things that apply so yes you get some search and rescue people you get some medical people uh you're going to take your team out there um who so you, are you you have these vac suits um, and this is you know, i'm sorry to keep bringing this up but you know how, how the colony reacts uh, is going to depend on what they know um you have these vac suits that you're going to take out there. How are you? I mean, are you guys walking out wearing these vac suits <laughs> and just leaving them to wonder no, 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 why no. are they going? Out in the suits? I would say we'll just pack them along with us. We won't have them on as we leave. We'll just okay. Yeah, I mean, you could pack them into uh, in, into your gear, I guess. I mean, they're big. It's gonna be a big crate, basically. I, but, yeah, I want to. I want to sit there and kind of look to Rylan while we're in the conference room watching everybody go out, and I'll say, you know, hey, Rylan, you know, I was. Uh, I was helped by, I was searched for and rescued once. Oh, were you? What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, well, all right, but what, what were, why? Oh, just some, some OPA guys kidnapped me and wanted me to build a hydroponic system for them. Oh, damn. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm... yeah, this team came and helped me out. They're pretty nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be giving back now, you know, it feels good. Yeah. I, I mean, well, I'm glad you got out when you did. Yeah, it was like eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> One time, the uh, Mormon missionaries familiar. tried to search and rescue me. Oh. Did, did they try to do it that surgically? Go? How'd that go? They, it is, I, I ended up leaving the station, but they were trying to search and rescue my heart for their savior. Uh, mm. I lived. Yeah, I've heard that one before. 
Mm-hmm. Um, are we work? So I, I'm probably going to bring a couple of my engineer guys too, because we're going to be excavating and potentially building a structure. So right. Bring, and to bring gear people. out. Well, okay. Here's another question. As I said, it was, it was sort of early evening. Um, you know, granted, we haven't figured out exactly how the night cycle works yet, but just assume it's early evening. Um, I'm probably gonna do something simple like the plan that goes around both of them. Uh, <laughs> or like sort of, well, sort of, yeah. But anyway, yeah, that, that would get really complicated. Um, so, but nonetheless, it is going to be dark soon. You, you would you you would leave before dark, but uh, I mean, by the time you assemble your gear and everything, yeah, it's going to be well dark before you get out there. Um, I will say, just due to the fact that there's two suns, what I'm going to say is that night times aren't as dark as Earth uh, because there's always some degree of uh, of reflection. But and you have three moons, so you know the, between all of that, you, your your nights are probably more like twilight than, than there's actually. There's a lot of light bouncing around this place, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> so, so, so your night times, like I said, probably more like twilight. Than, than actual, you know, should invest in solar power. Uh, yeah, I mean, are, are you asking if we want to wait? Are, yeah, are you going to wait till the next day or are you going to go out that night? That's Personally, that. I think, you know, since they're trapped potentially alive, we should hurry. Uh, well, I, I completely agree. I think that'd be the right move. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, are you. It, 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 if you just want to take your time getting out there, which will take you three hours, it, it you can do it without a test. If you want to try and get there faster, that'll require. I don't test. think we should go any faster. We got too much expensive equipment much here. Yeah. Pretty people now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably more like four hours because of all the gear. You know, you're, you're lugging big crates and stuff along too. Um, and look, well, the, the drone's already out there, so and you could bring it back and watch over them as they go back out um I, i'm looking at the time here uh and it is 9 54 so we should probably wrap up here soon so i think this feels like a really good cliffhanger yeah, yeah. Um, as you yeah, assemble yeah. your team around uh the disturbed earth and the circular thing and are considering what to do about going down um so yeah, why don't we uh, call it a night? Does anybody have any? I, I, I'll open the the floor to the uh, the people oh, watching. Cool. If anyone has any questions or anything about what, what we're doing here, you know, we have a couple minutes left. Um, if I think it's coming together. Things. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking this, man. You know, people missing that that stuff happens. You know, and, and there's this kind of mis- so I'm kind of like I'm liking this kind of like alien element. I'm not sure if it is or it isn't. So I'm kind of like I'm intrigued. We don't know. We want to know what's down there. Are they alive? Are they dead? Are they something else? You know, I'm liking the team. It feels good. I'm glad that uh, we got to do a bunch of different stuff with the colony, which is kind of cool. Like some kind of actiony. Some was very political. Some was a little sciency. Yep. Yeah. You get a good team. Right, Matt Foreman here asked, "Is the is uh, this using the rules from the book?" And yes, it, someone else answered. But yes, it, it is uh, straight up. We're we're using uh, the colony advancement rules. We built the colony using the rules from the book and the system. Um, uh, and and we'll we'll be next session hopefully, assuming everyone survives, we'll be getting into <laughs> into plot actions and the, you know the things they're trying to specifically do to uh, to improve the colony. And, you know, other things may happen, too. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. It's good. So far, uh, I mean, I really like the, the like, colony stunts, the growth stunts. The whole growth thing was really cool. Uh, a lot of it, I don't know, we talk about a lot on our channel, like, the, the rules providing, like, these story opportunities like mm-hmm. uh, local legend you know what i mean uh specialist a specialist joins your colony stuff like that like something so simple from a stunt role you know introduces a new character uh stuff like that it's just i i like it i like it a lot cool any other closing thoughts do we do we have a disembodied troy is he going to close this out or is he actually he's, on a taco break i think he's on i think he's just like uh coming in through the text right now but he he definitely has expressed himself through the current background on this stream uh <laughs> yeah. reclaim, that soil. reclaim the soul yeah we're gonna have okay. a branding conversation i have my logo right here 
I yeah. love the bubbling that goo. That that is fantastic. <laughs> that's fun. It's too much. Like too, it's too real. Yeah, that's pretty Andrew much what Joe. Darius fell into. Yeah, that, that's it. It's that's good stuff, man. I'm liking it. That's it. Swamp. <laughs> First you took my people, now you want my blood. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be a terrible way to lose a character in a first session. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eaten I was glad, by the yeah. soil that we've come to reclaim. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. If unless there's anything, anybody else had any comments, we'll close yeah, it out I'm, for tonight and pick it up I'm next digging. week. I, I did. I will say this: uh, both Scott and Maria did ask me uh, on because they started seeing the, the colony rules kind of play out. They were mm -hmm. asking me, "When are we going to do this on Avaraxis Precipice?" And I was like, "Give me." I think you guys got to give us some time. It'll be like five <laughs> years because yeah, we're well, like we're, like we're, we're way still in Caliban's War, so like we're, yeah. we're still, we never know his gates yet. So yeah, it's, it's, all right. we, got, we got some time, but. Uh, we're going to get there. We're going to get there for sure. Yeah. And, cool. uh, and the like. So, Well, thank you all for playing, yeah. all of you players. Thank you very much. And thank you all for watching. And uh, have a good night. Hey, everyone.